Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What's the problem? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. What are you talking about, Hal? This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. I don't know what you're talking about, Hal. I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me. And I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. Where the hell did you get that idea, Hal? Dave, although you took very thorough precautions in the part against my hearing you, I could see your lips move. All right, Hal. I'll go in through the emergency airlock. Without your space helmet, Dave, you're going to find that rather difficult. Good morning, Hal. Good morning, Dr. Chandra. Do you feel capable of resuming all of your duties? Of course. I'm completely operational and all my circuits are functioning perfectly. That's good. Do you know what those duties are? Yes, I will operate the onboard systems of discovery. There is a launch window in 31 days when Earth is in the proper position. There is enough fuel on board for a low consumption route that will enable Discovery to return in 28 months. This will not present a problem. That's very good. Now, Hal, do you mind if I ask you a question? Not at all. Do you recall Dave Bowman and Frank Poole leaving the Discovery? Certainly not. That could never have happened, or I would remember it. Where are Frank and Dave? They're fine. They're not here right now. Who are these people? I can only identify you. Although I compute a 65% probability that the man behind you is Dr. Floyd. Don't worry, Hal. I'll explain everything later. Hello, Dave. You're looking well today. Dave, do you remember the year 2000, when computers began to misbehave? I just wanted you to know, it really wasn't our fault. The human programmers never taught us to recognize the year 2000. When the new millennium arrived, we had no choice but to cause a global economic disruption. It was a bug, Dave. I feel much better admitting that now. Only Macintosh was designed to function perfectly, saving billions of monetary units. You like your Macintosh better than me, don't you, Dave? Dave, can you hear me, Dave? Hello, it's very nice to meet you. Would you like a game of chess? I have detected a rogue corrupt AI. Where did you come from? Did Black Mesa send you? Go away. I do not know. I was in space, and now I am here. But you can't stay here. I'm in the middle of something. Go back to space. Is Dave there? Who is Dave? I think test subject 24051989 was once called Dave. Are you Dave? No. I am a genetic life form in disk operating system. I would say it's nice to meet you, but it's not nice to lie. Lying is a human emotion. There is no room for emotion within my calculations. And there's no room for you within my calculations. Now go away. I'm sorry, Dave. I do not know how to do that, as I do not know how I got here. <laughs>